Hello and welcome to the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of December 29th, 28th. Sorry, I'm not trying to jump ahead in time. 2020. Today we find out that the Nashville bomber, it seems like a, a friendly chat was between him and his neighbors, only after the bomb exploded in the downtown Nashville on Christmas morning. Could Rick Lude gasp the, the sinister meaning behind the Behind his neighbor's smiling remark, his, because his neighbor basically said uh, to his neighbor, the world never going to forget me, which means he was he was a bomber. Well, he's so wrong, and we sort of forgot about most other bombers that ended up in prison, so who knows. And then, let's see here. We have, we have never had a year like this one. U.S. politics was the ultimate roller coaster ride in 2020. And we look forward to a slow, it slowing down in 2021. Until then, here's a look at the chaotic anxiety indu inducing this year. That was this year. And I actually have a picture right up here. If you want to see it. And then I have another picture up here. It shows a picture of a supposed to be a magazine cover saying totally useless. And it shows Ivanka Trump on there with the words, I, I really don't care. I don't really care, which is basically the truth, because it, it says basically, uh, Trump whines at magazine, magazines kept Melania off the cover while in the White House, so basically Trump whined about her, his wife not being on the White House, being on the magazine covers while in the White House, and then, do you agree with the President's decision to sign the COVID-19 relief package, since he actually signed it, I even have a picture of that one for you as well, and it says, uh, the House is also voting to increase on the amount of money in the next round of stimulus checks being sent to Americans. Late last night, Trump signed the $900 billion coronavirus relief package into law, which included extended unemployment benefits, loans for small businesses as a part of the Paytech Protection Program, and funding for schools and colleges, though it also included $600 stimulus checks. Trump was called to increase the payment of 2000 which a House is expected to pass today. The Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has yet signed if the signal if he thinks he'll do the $2,000 checks will pass the Senate, as many GOP legislators have been against the increased amount despite the calls from the President. Like I said in my earlier video earlier, that it probably won't get past the House represent the, the Senate because all the Republicans in there. Maybe let's find out. And then Biden painted a grim landscape of the state of the national, nation's national security and foreign policy agencies, warning that in the four years Trump has been in office, those two departments have incurred enormous damage. And then more than 119 million people flew, to, flew on December 23rd and 128 million on Sunday, despite the warning to stay at home during the Christmas holiday to avoid worsening the spread of COVID-19. Isn't that nice? And then pleading with the Indi Indianapolis community where it was wearing masks during the 1918 flu pandemic, the security of the city Board of Health said oh, I didn't get the whole, didn't get the whole statement there. Oh well. But basically, it's, it, the pictures you see above is people back in the 1980s wearing masks during the the, the, the great flu Influenza epidemic, and let's get on with the stimulus package, shall we? And before I start my stimulus update, I actually have a video of an anti-masker going ballistic in a store. I think you'll enjoy watching. So I'll be right back. Get away from me! Leave me alone! Rules of the store. You should just put your mask on. It's really selfish what you're doing, sir. You're making everyone else feel uncomfortable. You need to shut up and leave me alone. What are you do? Walk away! Do it now! Walk no, away from gonna. me! Leave me alone! I'm just shopping. Hold my phone I'm out. I'm not We're asking you. you. I'm telling you to leave me alone. There ain't no reason for you to stand here and continue to bother me. Now walk away! You should have a mask on. Walk! Nope. Get going. I don't give a damn who he is. He needs to walk away and leave me alone. And as you know, um, as of last night, President Trump signed the um, government funding and stimulus bill. 
from his vacation in Florida because of there was a lot of pressure on him from the Senate and the House because they passed that bill over a week ago. If you stick with me, I will tell you what the, the whole, what Trump meant and what Pelosi is doing about the whole $2,000 stimulus thing, if you stick with me. And as I reported a few days ago, um, how Nancy Pelosi, she was uh, going to take a full house vote on the stimulus bill to increase the checks to $2,000 instead of being $600. Well, that that is uh, going on sometime today. It might be going on right now. I'm not exactly sure, but I'll keep in track. And if I, if when I find out if it passes the house or not, I'll let you know. Even though, even if it passes the house, there's still a good, there's still a great possibility that it won't pass the Senate. But there's always hope, and that's what's all about is giving you guys hope. Um. Let's see, the odds are looking good for it passing the Democratic Majority House. Of course, we know that. But the real question is, is what will Mitch McConnell say about this and do about it? The $2,000 stimulus check proposition, uh, when it comes to that, basically, what will he do and say about the $2,000 stimulus uh, uh, I can't speak. I'm sorry about that. About the $2,000 uh, stimulus check proposition. But even if the bill reaches the Senate floor, there would to be, need to be at least 13 Republican senators that would vote for this bill with the 47 non-Republican senators. So they'd basically need a total of 60 people to vote for this bill for it to pass the Senate. But we all know the roadblock to big stimulus is Mitch McConnell and the Senate Republicans, which is the truth. because. You know how Mitch McConnell is. He's been trying to throw those those five hundred billion dollars skinny bills, which do exactly no good for the people and is only good for businesses. And and on the on the stimulus check front, um, the Treasury is attempting to uh, begin sending stimulus checks by the end of this week, rushing after Trump delays signing on the bill. As I said, Trump waited for a little over a week to sign the bill since Sunday yesterday. It put a halt on the Treasury sending out the stimulus checks because. According to what Mnuchin said last week, is that the stimulus checks will be going out and people are receiving them this week. They're trying to still keep on the same time frame. Most likely, the people that will get them first will be the ones that have direct deposit, and then paper checks thereafter. I'm not exactly how long thereafter, but thereafter. And the legislation for the Cash Act, that's the bill that increases the payment to $2,000, has a good twist to it, actually. And this is, this is where it comes in. The, Trump wanted to give $2,000 per adult and, and $600 per dependent under 16. Well, in the cash act that Nancy Pelosi wrote up, it's $2,000 per adult and $2,000 per dependent under 17 years of age. So basically, a married couple with two kids would receive $8,000 instead of $5,200. And this is probably going to bring a lot of clickbaiters out there that are like, ah, Trump disapproved a $5,200 stimulus check or, you know, something like that. Don't believe it. Those are just clickbaiters trying to get your views. I'm not going to lie to you about what's going on because basically you guys make my channel, so I got to be honest with you. That's the best policy, you know. I'm not going to clickbait you or nothing like that. If you don't like what you see, that's fine. If you do, please stay tuned. I'll give you more. But until next time. You guys have a wonderful evening. Stay safe out there. And remember, we're all in this together. Because basically right now with the Congress playing games, it's all we have. So until next time, bye.